Hey guys, what's up? Zach here, and guess what? <coughs> I'm not going fishing today, but we are doing something fishing related. As you've seen the other day, I went out for some burbot. So I'm going to show you how to clean and cook these guys. They're very tasty fish. They're very fun to catch. Highly recommended them. recommend them. They are a underrated fish, that's for damn sure. So first things first, some things that you're going to need to clean a fish. Cutting board, knife, knife sharpener, a pair of pliers or vice grips, your personal preference, I prefer vice grips. And I like to put my fish in salt water after to get the blood out. Um, that's optional. So let's get started. <sighs> Dry my hand off because I need this hand to cut. First thing you're going to do is take the skin off. So you go around the whole burbot and you make an incision all the way around, not very deep, just enough to cut the skin. And I recommend doing these when they're not frozen. I had to dethaw these for a while. Um, it just makes life a lot easier. Be sure not to cut yourself. That's very important. But now that you have this incision all the way around the neck, you take your vice grips, you take the skin, and you literally just peel it off like a sock. Probably won't be as easy. There we are. There we go. Once you get it going, it's a lot easier. Pull just like you're pulling off a sock. And you throw that in your garbage. There we go. Now, you got your skin off. You got to take off these dorsal fins, top and bottom. Same idea. You can even use your fingers for this. They're not that hard to pull out. You just grab it and you pull, like so. You don't eat those. And you just pull all the way down. And throw it in the trash. Oh, I missed some of this fin. My bad. Throw that in the garbage. And now we're ready to start cleaning the actual fish. I'll turn it towards you. You go along the line that you actually ripped out. You go along that and you just cut in, you cut down, keep cutting, keep cutting. You cut until you feel those ribs. run my knife along those bones and then you <laughs> try doing it all in one cut GoPro da battery dies of course anyways just keep cutting till you're down at those ribs and this fish is a little frozen still um, definitely makes this process this process specifically a lot harder at least you can defrost the fish in some water before you do this and get the skin off a lot easier. I think I'm almost around those ribs now. You just cut to get past all those ribs. You just cut a chunk of meat out. Those ribs are gone. And then boom. You cut down the tail. It's probably not a good idea to cut towards yourself. But I'm a trained professional idiot, so take that information and do what you want to do with it. Boom. 
You got the top part of the burbot. Actually, you have to do the other side first, so let me just do that quickly. Alright, I did that side a lot faster than I did the last one for some reason. Video magic, and we're back at it. This girl was pregnant. There's a big old egg sac in there. Basically, you just cut around the belly. Boom. And you got a nice piece of belly fat there. The belly meat. It's literally just like a sheet. That's my favorite part of the burbot, actually. So there's your burbot into the trash. I don't know what that is. Oh, there's some eggs. And that's how you clean a burbot. I'm gonna clean the other one and then I'll show you how to cook these guys. All right, so we're gonna get to cooking these fish. I like to cook these fish in two different ways. Let's grab a chunk of meat, there we go. So this right here is one of the side pieces. What I'm doing with it is I'm cutting it into chunks. Uh, chunks like that, one inch. Very good, chop, chop. And we're throwing that off to the side, and let's find a belly piece. And for the belly, what I like to do with it, is I like to lay it out on its belly. Yeah. Just cut right down the middle, like so. So you have two fillets. But then, what else I like to do, I like to turn it sideways, turn the meat sideways. And I like to just cut little, little, tiny slits. Not enough to cut all the way through, but just tiny little slits. And what that does, is when it's cooking, it won't roll up. Like, uh, it won't roll up. I don't know how else to put it. And the two different ways I cook this fish, this is the poor man's lobster way, and this is the traditional beer batter way. Let's get all this rest of this fish done. I'm going to get this into baggies and then uh, get to cooking. Now we'll start off with the way of the poor man's lobster. Cut a lemon in half. Squeeze all the juices out. And then drop it in there. Same with the other half. Depending on how much water you use, depending on how, many, how much fish you have, depends on the lemons that you use. I have real no set recipe. I just lick fish slime off me and lemon. Woo! That was good. Anyways. Ow! I got lemon juice in my cut. Then you take some household salt and you just sprinkle some in there. Good enough. No set recipe. And then you throw that on the burner to boil. You know the term? A watch pot never boils. The phrase or whatever you want to call it. I'm watching this pot and it's starting to boil. So it's a myth. Got my fish here. Just waiting on this to boil. It's taking forever. Movie magic in three, two, one. Alright. So it's boiling. I got the fish here. I got my timer ready to hit start. Basically you take it, this is the hard part, hard part right here. You take it and you drop it in the water. You just drop it all in the water to boil. And then you let it boil and for about two minutes and 30 seconds. Well, you do that. Get yourself a stick of butter. Cut it in half because I don't need that much butter. Grab one of these things. Throw it in there. Throw it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Don't want to burn the butter. 
How much time's left? A minute 30, all right. Take your butter. Add a little bit of garlic powder. How much time's left? 45 seconds. Just take your knife. Stir that garlic pea powderness in there. So you take your burbot. I might have overcooked it now. Great. And you strain it all into there. You probably got all foggy there. One moment. That's how you make poor man's lobster. There's uh, some other burbot that I have to clean. Got a lot to clean. But yeah, that's how you make poor man's lobster. Let's get to how to cook the other one. All right, let's get a taste test of this burbot and the butter. Ooh. Yeah, it's so good. Tastes like lobster. Literally, it's a phenomenal taste in fish. Try it out for yourself. Let's try the other one out. Frying this fish right here. I got my vegetable oil going. I got my flour. I got eggs. And for good old sake, I got uh, all dressed chips to finalize the fish batter. It's gonna be tasty. It's, uh, let's get going. So you take your fish, drop it in your flour. Roll it around. Actually, I'm going to do that with all the fish right now. Boom. And then you take this bag with your floury hand. You crack it open a bit, make it easier. And you just hold it there. And you do this. Dunk. Flip. And drop. There we go. And drop in there. I also like to uh, throw some extra flour in there because it doesn't get completely coated. If you're watching this, mom. Sorry about the mess. And you just shake it all about. Ah! And then drop it in the bowl. Now we just wait for this oil to start uh, getting hotter. So let's get that done. I can't really turn my camera off. It's gonna work. No, it's not gonna work. All right. So the oil's hot enough. The fish is ready. We're just gonna drop it in there. Just let that sit for about a minute. Camera died on me again, but I just flipped them. Now I'm just waiting. And you get some spices, not really. You get some seasoning salt. Are you done yet? Well, these are done. Nice. Woo. Hot. Very hot. Don't burn yourself. Here. Oh, that's way too much seasoning salt. God damn. Oh well. And then you flip them, and I probably won't even season the season salt this side. But uh, let's give them a try. Oh my! Yeah. 
It's really good. These are both really good ways to eat burbot. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. It's different from what I usually do. I don't usually actually keep fish. So this is different from what I always normally do. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. And uh, see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Check out my burbot video. It's going to be in the uh, card set up here. And uh, why not go check my river fishing playlist. And uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace. Go fishing. Yeah.